Hey, what's up? Oh yeah, yeah, I'll get to that later. Right, I don't feel like doing it today. I'll get to it tomorrow. What's the rush? It can wait, can it? Can it? Studies show that 20 to 25% of adults and 50% of college students procrastinate. Now this behavior has severe consequences on several life areas, including a person's mental health and social, professional and financial well-being. Do you need help motivating yourself to do things you know you need to do? Are you putting off responsibilities that end up costing you? Do you avoid paying bills on time only to have to pay them anyway in addition to the late fees? That's foolishness sometimes, and we do that because of procrastination. Now, if you answer yes to any of these questions, you may have learned the behavior of procrastination. Hello, I'm Dr. Joe Laird, licensed professional counselor, and in this video, I will discuss procrastination and possible reasons why we procrastinate. If you learn to reduce procrastinating behaviors, you'll become more successful and achieve every goal you set your mind on achieving. I know. I'm a witness. You may have heard of the saying, kicking the can down the road. To kick the can down the road means to avoid dealing with a difficult situation or making a hard decision until later. Kicking the can down the road is a statement that people use to describe procrastination. It means putting off or confronting a difficult issue or making important decisions. One of my clients said that they believe if you put off doing something long enough, you might not end up having to do it at all. See, that's wishful thinking. What is procrastination? Now, the word procrastination is derived from the Latin verb procrastinare, which means to put off until tomorrow. Now, here's a working definition. Procrastination is the voluntary delay in starting or completing a task despite knowing that Putting off the task will have negative consequences. You know that you have a task to complete, so you make a conscious decision not to start or complete the task, knowing that if you don't do it, it will lead to negative outcome. I guess you may think if you put it off doing it long enough, you may not have to do it at all, but that's not how life works. So it's going to end up costing you something in the end. People who procrastinate experience more stress and tend to have high levels of anxiety as well as poor impulse control. Numerous studies show that procrastinating on important tasks can lead people to experience a range of negative thoughts, emotions, including guilt, depression, feeling of inadequacy. Studies show that on the job, workers who procrastinate produce low quality work and higher levels of stress and illness. Procrastination places an increased burden on social relationships, causing resentment from friends, families, and co-workers. It can lead to consequences of delinquent bills, leading to the payment of additional fees. Another study showed that university students who rated high on procrastination receive low grades and report high levels of stress. Now, procrastination is not a good thing. Listen, the more you procrastinate and put off your goals and dreams, the less time you'll have to fulfill them. You're wasting time that you can never get back. And in the future, you'll look back on your life and wish you had done more. So, why do people procrastinate? Procrastination is not a matter of poor time management skills, but of poor life skills and learning to manage unpleasant or negative emotions connected to the task or situation. Now, some individuals procrastinate because they're perfectionists who want to put out their best work, but due to fear of not being viewed as flawless, they may delay. They're more concerned about what others think about them, and they fear being judged. Now, this is a thought process or a mental script, which is a thought process. The thought process is, I need to be perfect in their eyes or I won't feel good about myself. Some procrastinate because they find the task difficult, unpleasant, or stressful. Now, if a task feels overwhelming or causes high levels of anxiety, it's easier to just avoid it. That's kicking the can down the road. Now, we don't procrastinate about the things we like. We procrastinate the things we don't like. If you give a child the option of cleaning their room up, playing video games, hanging out with friends, or washing dishes, what will they choose? Procrastinators delay one task in favor of working on another. So stay away from the internet. People who procrastinate spend more time on the internet because it provides them with an emotional escape from the tasks they are avoiding. See, there's a pleasure principle installed in your mind that states to do what makes you feel good, 
like eating junk food instead of eating healthy or sitting on the couch binge watching instead of working out. Some procrastinate because they believe they perform better under pressure, so they wait until the last moment to complete the task. Example, your research paper is due next month, so instead of starting today, you wait until two days before and stay up all night hammering a paper out right before the deadline. This behavior causes your stress levels to increase and puts you at a high risk for several physical health issues. Some individuals procrastinate because they lack the belief in their ability. They fear failure, so they put off the task and time passes them by. So you don't go back to school, although it will help you move into a higher financial bracket. The thought of school may bring out your insecurities and expose your deficiencies, causing you to fear returning to school because you didn't do well when you were younger. So you make excuses such as, I had difficulty concentrating or I was never good at school. See that little girl in you doesn't want to return to school. You're a woman now and you can do anything you set your mind to. It's the memories from childhood that are preventing you from going to the next level. Some individuals procrastinate because they just don't want to do it. Now parents and women, listen up. Your child or your partner is not lazy or forgetful. They simply don't want to do the task. Why? Because they're not getting anything out of it. When external rewards drive you, this is known as extrinsic motivation. You don't want to do it because someone else is telling you to complete a task. Mothers, you tell your children to get ready and, and be on time and clean the house up before you get home. And they in no rush. This is an external command from without. This is known as controlled motivation because their actions are controlled by outside forces rather than their own needs. When they need you to give them a ride, you don't have to ask them twice because it's something they want. They want to be on time and it aligns with their goals. Goals that you find enjoyable and satisfying are intrinsic because they align with your core values and needs. Individuals are less likely to procrastinate because they receive benefits and find the goals or tasks less stressful. It's something that they want to do. My experience of procrastination used to happen every year because of a mental script or a thought process that I had. I said to myself, why well, pay taxes quarterly for the year? I may be dead at the end of the year. Well, I was still alive at the end of the year and I had to pay taxes, the penalties and the interest. My total was $3,000 more than it would have been if I paid it quarterly. And I can't afford to give money away. And I know some of you feel me. It was foolish of me to procrastinate and it ultimately cost me. But guess what? I have a new script now that says pay your taxes quarterly. Can't afford to get that good money up. There are many reasons why people procrastinate. So where does procrastination come from? Procrastination is a learned behavior. It's a behavior that begins in early childhood and is driven by various thoughts and habits based on experiences. We learn at an early age how to avoid tasks or put them off because we don't enjoy doing them. We avoid them because they do not create pleasant emotions. This is why it's essential for children to have chores and responsibility at an early age. It's vital to teach your children the importance of hard work and creating a good work ethic. Otherwise, they will learn the pleasure of playing and kicking the can down the road as it pertains to work. So, give your children some chores. Perhaps you were criticized when you were younger for not doing a good job, and now you're reluctant to do the job out of fear that you will be judged for not doing a good job. Forgive your parents. They knew not what they were doing. Shouldn't criticize a child. Now, depending on the giving task or situation, you may have developed an aversion, a strong dislike or a lack of enthusiasm. Your experience with the task may have been unpleasant. For instance, cleaning a dirty bathroom, taking the trash out in a dimly lit alley, washing the dishes or, or even cutting onions. Psychologists have identified various drivers of procrastination from low self-confidence to anxiety, a lack of structure, and simply an inability to motivate yourself to complete unpleasant tasks. There are several negative consequences associated with procrastination, which affects more than 25% of adults and 50% of college students. Procrastination is a learned behavior that begins in early childhood and is driven by various thoughts and habits based on experiences. It's not laziness, it's a behavior caused by stress 
or unfounded negative beliefs. You're more likely to procrastinate when you're stressed about a task. But the biggest hurdle to finishing most tasks is starting them. So don't delay by kicking the can down the road. Decide to commit and get started. In my next video, I'll discuss how to reduce procrastination. That's all I have for now, and thank you for your time. Thank you for supporting me. If you enjoyed it, this video, please comment in the section below. Please subscribe to the channel so we can continue to grow. Like the video, give me a thumbs up, and share it with someone you think can benefit. Also, if you have other topics of interest that you would like me to discuss, please leave them in the comment section below. That's all I have for now. Again, you are in control of your life, and life is what you make it. So if you don't like how things are going, make that change. Remember, the more you know, the more you grow. God bless you and have a wonderful life.